you too. What's up? It's your boy 360 GZ. I'm here with my boy Man. Okay, for everybody that go to his school and they know him as Man, that's his name. I right? don't ask no questions. I right? I don't need no questions to be asked right now. His name is Man. All right, I'm about to cut his hair. Hold on, let me zoom up and do this right. I'm about to cut up my man, okay? My man. It's your boy 360 Jeezy. Stay tuned. Alright YouTube, I'm going to start this video off by brushing my client's hair with the grain. I'm going with the grain of his pattern. Um, it, with any 360 waiver, we all have unique patterns. So you want to grow in the direction in which the wave is going. Um, this brush that I got, I got it from www.brushking.org. This one is a medium brush. Uh, he has all type of brushes on the site. This one right here is the yellow one with the black on the front. This one right here is kind of like a soft brush. So they have all different type of, you know, medium, soft, and hard brushes. I'm gonna take the hair down using my Babyliss Pro FX using the two guard closed. my clipper real quick these custom fast feeds are super dope all right shout out to b.clark customs on instagram the link will be in the description and uh yeah man he does these dope custom clippers all right right now i'm doing a shadow taper so i'm gonna start with the lever open i don't want to start off with the lever closed because that will make it bald i'm going up about an inch just you know making sure everything is even and neat Next I got my one guard open and I'm going up about an inch, still making sure that everything is neat. With the two guard open, I'm just flicking out, kind of blending everything at the top. This is not me setting in a guideline, this is just kind of blending everything in. All right, dropping back down to my one guard closed. I'm just softening up that middle line as best as I can um, to come behind it with the zero guard closed. Like I said, with the zero guard closed, I'm blending out in a flick out motion with that middle line. technique you guys can use you guys want to turn the clipper over and kind of use it as a thinning shear uh, this is this will get some of the bulk that's you know hard to get out with with the guard so I found out about this technique and this technique works wonders all right using my Diane duck clip I'm just gonna pin up the back of the tail Working on the back taper, I'm gonna use the lever closed and I'm gonna try to blend around the tail 
as much as possible. So I'm being real careful about how close I come to um, the hair in the middle. So you wanna be mindful of that. Right now I got my lever open going on about an inch and uh, still being mindful of how close I get to the actual tail. Right now I got my one guard open and I'm going against the grain. Notice how I'm going sideways. Sometimes against the grain isn't straight up and down. I got my two guard on, going against the grain. Like I said, sometimes it's sideways. And I'm just flicking out and uh, trying to make it blend in to the rest of the hair. Now with the zero guard closed, I'm knocking out that middle line. With the lever closed in a flick out motion, you want to take out that bottom line. Alright you guys, I showed you the left and the back side, so I'm just going to speed this side up. With waivers, you always want to take down their front line because when they're brushing, you actually, you know, hair actually overlaps uh, during time when their hair starts to grow. So you want to take down their front line as much as possible. And I'm doing that with the one guard open. All right, as I'm lining my client up, I noticed that he has a cowlick in the front of his head. And you guys want to be real careful about any calyx in the front. There's no way you could get rid of a calyx. A calyx is just there and you got to work with what you have. You have to work around it and you have to make it look, uh, you know, as best as you can as a barber. But for anybody that's out there and they're like, man, what can you do about a calyx in the front of your hair? I'm sorry to say, but there's nothing you can do but just brush it and force it in that direction. There's no way you could, you know, get rid of a cowlick or, you know, you know, try to, you know, there's nothing you can do, guys. Just, you, you gotta work with what you got.
waver, you want to do a freehand trim. This is how you finish a waver's cut. I mean, those loose hairs up top are critical and it can make the cut look all that much better by doing a freehand trim. My client came all the way from Frisco, so you know I had to bless the kid, all right? Can I get a drum roll, please? YouTube, this is The Cut, and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, in the left hand or right hand corner, I really don't know which one it is, somewhere right here, all right? You can hit that subscribe button. If you guys aren't getting my notifications, hit that bell button at the bottom right by the subscribe button, okay? It's your boy 360 Jeezy, and I'm out of here, and it's gonna take me a while to get over there, so I'm, I'm, I'm coming though. I, I, I got my hand, it's, 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 we're about to end it right now, so, alright, I forgot to say cheer, hold on, let me go back over here, and then do it again, and then, yeah, cheer, and then I'm coming over again, and I'm, yeah, it's, alright y'all.